Okay, again, fourth grade. Going to keep talking about line plots today. Uh, for the next several days, we're going to talk about certain kinds of questions you might be asked about line plots. And we're going to start today with questions that involve addition of fractions. So make this the title of your next free page in your math notebook. When you've done that, mark your page, close it up, and give me your total concentration until we get to we do. Yesterday we made line plots. We would say, okay, I want to make a line plot of this. Snowfall in January, I guess maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over nine years, something like that. Rain to, or snow to a fraction of an inch uh, each January, or maybe these are different days in January, I'm not sure. Um, so what we would want to do there is say, okay, so remember yesterday, if the denominators don't match, here I have fourths, halves, and eighths. I said, go ahead and make your line plot with the largest denominator. So I'm going to do like one eighth, two eighths. What's my lar my greatest amount? It looks like I don't have any seven eighths, but three fourths is going to be six. So I'll just go up to one. Nothing's above one. That's easy to tell. Four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. And I'll do a whole inch, even though there aren't any, and I could keep going. Um, we gave it a title, Snowfall, in January. And we would want to tell what we measured it in. So we're going to say um, snow in inches. All right. So the next thing to do is to put these on the number line, but that was hard to do, right? Now our number line's all eighths, and these are not all eighths, and I need them to be. So I know off the top of my head an easy one, a half is four eighths. That one you probably can do without a partition drawing. One fourth we talked about yesterday. Um, let me do it like this. So I have one fourth, and I partition it once across. Then my one fourth is going to be equivalent to two eighths. Let me undo that because I'm going to have to do three. So anywhere I have one fourth, I can change that to two eighths. Uh, that's it. And then same deal with three fourths. One, two, three fourths. If I partition that across, it's going to make six eighths. So that's six eighths. And that's six eighths, and I think I'm done. So now I can put those on the graph and say, okay, I got a four eighths, a two eighths, a two eighths, a four eighths, a three fourths, which is six eighths, sorry, one eighth, two eighths, six eighths again, and two eighths again. All right. So now I've got my line plot. So let's talk about a common question you might be asked. I'm going to transform this now into I do. So one of the common questions you'll be asked, let me get rid of the chart here so you can't see that anymore. Let's just say I had just this line plot that I made or that I was given. And let's say each of these represents a day that it snowed in January. So this January it snowed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times, right? So a common question you might get asked will be something like this. How much did it snow in total in January? Now I look at this. It snowed eight different times. It snowed a different amount each time. And a common question you might get asked, well, how much did it snow all together? Um, let's do that. So total, that's generally a word that means we're adding. We're like combining um, things together. And indeed we are. So really what I need to do is take each of these amounts from my line plot and add them up. So I really just need to say, okay, well, what is 1 eighth from the first snow plus 2 eighths four times from the next ones? Plus 4 eighths twice. 
plus 6 eighths twice. So I need to add those up. Let me make sure I got all 9 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I do. So really I just need to add those up, and that would tell me how much it's node total. So if you need a quick review, um, when I add fractions, like say 2 eighths plus 3 eighths, we did that like this. Imagine we draw 2 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Remember, 7 partitions will be 8s. So all I have to think, to do 2 8s plus 3 8s, I start with 2 8s. And then I add 3 8 Oops. And all together, that is 5 8 right? In my thing here, there's 5 colored out of 8 total. So really what we ended up doing is like adding our two numerators, but keeping the denominator. So what I need to do here is I could draw all this. I'm not going to do that over and over again. Um, but if you, if you get stuck or you can't remember how to add fractions and you need to do the drawing, you definitely could. Um, or, well, maybe I will do that. Or we can just add up all of our numerators and see how many we get. Um, so why don't I go back to my drawing here. Whoop, not that far. If I copy this and make a few... If you wanted to do this with a drawing, I don't know how many we're going to need all together. Let me move this one. Now I can move this one. Oh, maybe not. All right, I'll just leave it there. And we can start coloring in. So, um, yeah, here I go. So, one eighth plus two-eighths, plus two-eighths, plus two-eighths. Wait, how many times is that? One, two, three sets of, four sets of two-eighths. I've done one, two, three. Now for my next one, I'm going to have to cross over four. Then I've got a four-eighths. One, two, three, four. Another four eighths. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to draw under it. Then a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like all together I've got one two, three full inches, and five-eighths of another three and five-eighths inches. So whew, that's how I do it. I don't know if you're going to want to do the drawing or if you're just going to want to say, okay, that's one plus two is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty-three, twenty-nine eighths. And then convert that to that. That would also work too. Remember, 24 eighths will be 3 plus these other 5. So either of those two strategies is going to work. I don't mind if you do it with math. I don't mind if you do it with drawings. Just want you to know that they are both an option. So let's do one together. Open up your math notebook now. Uh, actually, let's do... This one I think makes a little more sense. I, was, I wasn't planning on doing that last one of my idea, but we'll make this that we do. Shall we? All right, so here's our kindergartners broad jumping yesterday. Uh, you can look back at, if you want to go even back, oh no, this was the idea, sorry. If you want to make this uh, line plot real quick, you can. Here's the question I'm going to ask. What was the total or combined distance that the six shortest jumpers jumped? So I'm not going to add up all these together. That's a whole lot on this one. We're just going to look at the six, the six students who jumped the shortest. So go ahead and take a moment to write down your line plot and to write down your question, and then we'll add them up. All right, so first thing I need to do, I'm only looking, I'm not going to ask you to do them all, only your six shortest jumpers, right? So that is these two, these two, and two more to make six, so two of these. It doesn't really matter which two because they all jumped the same amount. 
I'm just going to say any two of these should work out. All right? So those are my six shortest jumpers. So in order to, like, their total jump, if they jumped one after another after another, how far would they go? Well, they would go one-eighth plus one-eighth plus two-eighths plus two-eighths plus three-eighths plus three-eighths. All right, that'd be my total jump by my six shortest jumpers. I'm going to just re put my eighths from last time down. Ah, it's not going to let me move anything. There we go. So I'm, I'm going to put two and just see how it goes. So these are eighths. And so as I add these up, I've got two that did one eighth. So one eighth plus one eighth plus two eighths plus two eighths plus three, one, two, I'm going to have to cross over three plus three again, one, two, three. So altogether they jumped one meter and four eighths or one half, if you prefer, of another meter. So, my six shortest jumpers jumped a total of one and one half meters, and I had to figure that out by adding up data from the line plot that were fractions. So you have to remember how to add your fractions. Again, if you don't want to do the drawings, you could just say it's one plus one is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve eighths. And twelve eighths is the same as eight eighths and Ooh, sorry. Eight eighths make a hole, and there'd be another four eighths left. So altogether, that's one and four eighths. Same either way. So you can just add the fractions if you're comfortable with that, or you can make the drawing if you're comfortable with that too. All right. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you solve questions involving addition from line plots. If that was tricky, or if you noticed that you stopped paying attention at one point, or you didn't write down your example, or something else went wrong. Please go back and check these again so you come to class uh, very knowledgeable, competent, and ready to go. See you.